Hello and welcome back. Today I think we are gonna do the river. Stuck in the bushes again. Why don't I just use the path like a normal person? That's what I built it for. So yes, today I think we are gonna widen out this bit of the river. Because this is way too narrow to get some ships down. We'll widen it out and we'll tidy it up. We'll shore it up so that it matches with the town. Might get this corner as well. Just chop off this bit. So I could do to probably move my beacon. Or put another beacon up. Probably just put up another one so I don't have to lose the uh, emerald in that one. And I could do to either get or move my... Oh, the thing with the Nautilus in it. I'm just going to call it a water beacon until I remember. Could do to move the water beacon here so I can breathe underwater. But yep, yeah, we'll clear all this out. Get it down to this probably this sort of level. Probably just to where it widens out by the town there. And then we can update the maps and have a look at it. Conduit, that's the word. And then after we've done that, I think I'm going to go find some llamas. I might also try and find some goats, because I don't have any goats here either. So I might do a little animal collection, go get some llamas, go get some goats. I am a little baffled as to where the baby llama has gone. There should be three in here. Mushroom. Sorry to break the fourth wall here. I am not putting these anywhere. These are just appearing. This isn't me. This isn't something I'm doing for the story. These are just... It's just mushrooms everywhere. This base is being taken over. I'm not complaining, it's kind of cool. I'm just saying, it's not me. So if I'm going to be digging out the river, I'm going to get a load of shulkers to fill with the inevitable dirt and sand. Probably take all six, actually. I've got a spare beacon in my ender chest, so I'll just get that one out. I don't have anything like enough stuff for a new Nautilus shell thingy conduit yet, do I? No, I need more Nautilus shells. I've got enough hearts of the sea. Really still struggling to get these. I keep checking the wandering traders every time I find them, but no, nope, no luck. So I'm going to have to move the one that's in the stream river thing over here. Where else did I put it? Ah, here it is. Now I shall set it up around here somewhere. Oh, the nice, nice open patch here. There we go. This corner's coming off. Probably squaring off this corner a little bit. Where shall I put my stuff? Probably here. Plonk. I have two beacons about my person. I don't know what possible use I would ever have for two beacons at once, but they're there. Probably just put it on top of the trees. Haste. Haste two. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, that should be everything done. Should be ready to dig. I think I will, however, get some more torches and light this bit up, otherwise it's going to get full of zombies. It's very hard to tell when it becomes night when you're underwater, especially with the conduit. There we are, that should do. Maybe just one a bit closer to the waterfront here, although it's going to get dug up. We'll just do that. Now I should be safe to dig. So let's dig! did not take anything like as long as I thought it would. I was expecting that to be maybe a three or four hour job and I think it took me about an hour and a half in total. I've dug it out, I've textured it a little bit with some brickwork, I've shored it up a little bit with some wood. That's about it really, it doesn't need anything else at the moment. So yeah, that's that job all done. But now I have just stopped it around here because I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if I want to build anything on this side of the river or if I'm going to make any kind of bridge over. I haven't decided yet, so I've just done this patch for now because this was the silly narrow bit that didn't make any sense. Everything else will just get tidied up as and when I build in that area. But we'll go and update the map. Actually, I'm going to replace the map. Quite a few people said they'd like me to keep this original map, so we'll aim to do that. I'll get some glass and we should be able to lock it. Do I need a cartography table for this or can I just do it in here? I think I need a cartography table. Okay. I'm trying to not look at the map because I don't know if I'll update it. 
Okay, there we are. We can lock the map. Um, I think I'll just make a chest and put all the locked maps in one chest. So there we are. That one is now locked and it is still skinny. And the one above is also the one with the dock in it and that is also locked. This actually is going to work out really nicely as the frame for these two here. Translate to these two here so then this whole thing will become this map eventually. Shall I lock these now? I think I might. Come here. Yep. Oh, don't update. Oh, I need to put something. Yeah, okay, do that. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm just going to update all of these now, one at a time. This is going to be very slow. I will bring you back when I'm done. I think that is everything locked. I'm tempted to put all of this away and then to build a completely new one. Yeah, I might just put this away to protect it for now. There we go. That'll do. That'll do for now. Before I make the new map, do I want to make somewhere to put it? The problem is it's tall. I'm viewing it as a tall map, not a sideways wide map. I mean, it could, I could display it sideways, I suppose. It might work quite well in here somewhere, because there's a lot of flat wall in here. Yeah, I could maybe just put it on this back wall. Yeah, I'll maybe just put it back here, and then even if we decide we want to put one somewhere else at some point, we can just have a map back here. I am for now going to stick with this size as well, because I think it shows everything off as best as it can. Oh look, Endermen have been busy. But I am for now going to keep it at this size, because I, I like how big it is and how much you can see. I forget that cartography tables are a thing that players can interact with. I know that they're there for villagers, but I forget that there's actually a use for them. I just kind of forget they exist, because I never use them, so that makes sense. But we can do different scale maps to put like in the pub when that area is done and to have around the place. We can certainly play around with the other map sizes but for now I'm going to stick with this big one so that we can see all the details. So off we go to redo the maps. I'll try and do it a little bit more organised this time. There we are. It's now all done. This is the, uh, the second map and this one has the expanded river look. Oh, you can see the uh, the conduit. So yep, that river looks like it's making a bit more sense now. That makes a lot more sense. It kind of matches all the way around now. I might have to do something here with this bulge bit. Obviously the dragon is blocking that bit. And then we go off to here. Now this is going to need some work at some point, but not today. Also, with it being on a wall now, I can actually get like a proper zoom on it and we can see the whole thing. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Since we've finished digging out this river so quickly, I think I'm going to do some more town layout. I might fill this bit in. I might fall in the river. So I might fill this bit in, put some more path in and bring something around here. Because now that I've cleared this patch of trees here just for this river work, I kind of think I need to spread some something here. I don't think I want this to be full of houses because there's the farm there. I want there to be a bit of housing, some town that goes into the farm. I want there to be farm buildings. I still want there to be things like windmills. I don't quite know what'll go here, but it might be nice to start planning some things out. Also, if I'm planning on bringing back some goats and some of the wild llamas, then I could do to actually build a pen to put them in, especially the goats. They need somewhere. So we'll probably build a little something back here before we go off and get the animals. One of the things that I want to include somewhere is I want to include a graveyard. I know that's a bit grim, but I still want one and I'd like it to be around here because I did say at some point that I'd like to have an underground section. Whoops, zoomed. Okay. I'd like to have an underground section where it's, it's maybe a bit spooky. And so I think it would make sense to have access to it in the graveyard because, you know, people have crypts. Crypts and catacombs and all that sort of thing. Do you guys mind? Right, I'm just going to fly away so they despawn. Ow. That ruined that. As I was saying, it might be quite nice to put in some kind of underground system and have it connected to things like a graveyard. It could even go here, as in... This could be the stairs down to the catacombs. It's just sort of hidden discreetly as a little building. But I also want to put the graveyard in or at least mark out where it's going to be so that it isn't too crowded. I want it to be a little bit crowded because the whole area is crowded, but it, I don't want it to be a tiny little thing crammed in between some buildings afterwards. I'd rather put it in and then put the buildings around it. So I'm thinking probably around here somewhere. It's got some nice views. It's like a little park. There's the park I've already marked out here. Well, I say park, little garden area. So it can maybe go here and then have some buildings around it as well. It's also on the paths, which is nice. Yeah, I think I'll mark out some more buildings and then we'll go build some animal pens. I think I'll elevate it a little bit because, you know, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be all decorated tastefully. 
I don't want it a perfect shape either. I want it to be a little bit messy. I don't want it to be too small. That's a that's a decent little size, I think. So here's some rough layout ideas at the moment. They're all on the same level at the moment as when I build these, they'll be on like ups and downs. And they might get changed. Like this this stuff here I've just put as like maybe a tower. I don't really know what that would be for. Probably be part of the graveyard wall. Have it all walled in and secure and lovely. But yeah, some of these houses are a bit weird in shape. Like this one's a weird zigzag, this one's a weird zigzag. This one's very long. It's gonna be interesting to see how they come out as little houses. At some point, probably not today, I'm going to fill it in plan-wise to here. Maybe this bit and maybe that bit. And then the rest of it, I'm going to let it trickle into farm buildings and maybe a little bit more of the village cottages. I want the cram to be here. It's in this bit. This is the, the cram of the town. And then it spaces out a bit. I've still got plenty of wool on me, so I'll do a bit more planning. I just thought I'd show you this. I might also put a little pathway between these buildings. Just a little one block path so that you can get to the graveyard from this main road it would just be very narrow which i don't mind another little ziggy zaggy alley bit i think i'm going to put a two block gap between these buildings so that there's access to this little alley bit resume the smushing i think i'll leave this as a garden and this i'll maybe leave as a decorative patch or a statue or something because this is right on the uh, right on the dock corner so i don't think they'd maybe cram a house on there i feel like that would be yeah, that'd be better as a statue, I think. I think I'll leave it at that for now, otherwise it might start to get a bit daunting. I mean, I've still already got quite a lot to do. It's one of those things that one day I'll just be like, yes, and I'll do it. I'll build like 20 houses in one day. Not today, though. Yeah, I like this little noodly bit in the middle. Whoops. Fall into it. I really enjoy the sunset here now. It's so pretty. Oh, is that a full moon? No. But yeah, I think I'll uh, I think I'll leave this here for now. We'll go build some animal pens. And we'll go get some animals, and we'll think about other things to add here. I know I do want to add things like a bandstand at some point. Oh, creeper! But I don't think it's unusual for uh, these kind of trading villages and trading towns to have um, little performance areas for travellers, travelling theatres and performers and stuff. They'll uh, they'll get somewhere to go. So I don't want it to just be buildings. I do want there to be other little pockets of things. But we'll get to that in time. Now I need to go sleep before I get blown up. I think I'm going to put the goats and the llamas back here. These are the, the pig and the sheep pens that are kind of hidden behind the main stable. It attaches to the farmland here, so I think I'm going to put them off this path rather than burying them deep in the foresty bit. I think I might put things like the windmills slightly off the main path. I'll just clear this little patch and we'll build something, probably just in line with what we've already got. Just a simple little pen. It'll need a roof for the goats, obviously, so they'll have to be properly contained, since they do not obey rules. Okay, I'm round here. Should be all ready to go now. I'm also going to fill in this patch just with some grass and clear out this gravel. And we'll just build some cute little shelters for these animals. And then we can go get them. <laughs> Goats is the most important one, and hopefully they will go in here. It is completely contained because they can jump over the walls. I have tested this, and I don't think they can get out of this gap here. I spent a little bit of time in my creative world, and they weren't able to get out, so hopefully that applies in survival as well. And then this one is for the llamas. The llamas can be free roaming in the pen, because obviously they, they can't jump the walls. And I've got one and a half block walls at the moment, which I'm assuming is enough. We can always come back and... Uh, change that if it's not the case. But now that we've got the pens ready, I think I need to go actually get the animals. Also, I've left plenty of space back here, so there's, there's plenty of room for windmills and other farm buildings, and a bit of forest. Properly wall it in. Early days yet for this patch. Whilst I'm trying to have a bit of an easier pace of episodes this episode, I think next week I am going to do a lot of building on the uh, town. It's growing on me. I kind of want to see it come together. I want to see it done. Obviously I won't finish it in one week, but I wouldn't be surprised if I made good progress next week. Hopefully. For goats and llamas, I believe we need wheat. So I've got some actual wheat and I've got some hay bales. I'll get some leads. I think I'll get some wood to make boats. I have boats somewhere, just so I can 
get them if I need to. I've got a million leads and I've got more in my ender chest. Uh, I'll take some more food and rockets with me. Okay, I don't think I need anything else because I'm not doing a huge amount of exploring. I'm going to go through the nether roof to where my frog farm is because I know there are goats there and it's easy to drop them down into that cave to get them through the nether portal. And past there, there is an awful lot of savannah as well, so hopefully I can pick up some llamas in that area. I've been through the savannah, but I haven't actually noticed if there's llamas, but to be fair, I wasn't looking. Oh, that was good. In one window and out the other. I really need to make some better access to this thing. It's just getting silly. Do I have the windows open on this side? No, I somehow managed to just completely thread the needle on that. Couldn't do it again if I tried. It would be helpful, I suppose, if I updated my signposts. I think it's this line. Uh, is this it? Yes, it is. You can tell by the fence posts. Hi, guys. How's it going? You know what? I'm going to set my spawn here. There we go. Somewhere around here. Goats. Hello, goat. Do you have any brethren? I think there was two. Because I, I built this like structure thing to try and get horns out of them, but they wouldn't headbutt me when I was waiting for all my frogs to hatch. Okay, so we might find some more goats around here somewhere, but I'll take this one through and just fence it on the other side of the portal. Hopefully. Do goats take fall damage, though? Considering they throw themselves off things, you'd think they wouldn't too much, but we'll see. Seems okay so far. Don't you love this snowy jungle cave full of frogs? Just as nature intended. Seems fine. That's good to know. If I go through here, can I pull him into the portal. Come on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Come here. There we are. We have one through. One goat. Please stay there. Should go back and find some more. I'm not finding any more goats on this hill, so we'll try this one. Anybody? Anywhere? If I ever need any more coal, I know where to come. Now we're into some savannah. So we've still got all the mountains over here. Still can't find any more goats, but we can have a look at the savannah because this goes on quite a bit. It blends in and out of the mesa and the jungle. This patch of jungle is so pretty. Imagine building a little house on that middle bit. Lovely. But we're looking for llamas. I think you might need the highland savannah stuff, whatever it's called. Which I think is around here somewhere. There you go. And there we go. Llamas. Oh, and a village. Hi. Some brown ones. It would be nice if we can get all three colours. I think there's three. The white, the cream and the brown. I don't think there's another one. Well, there's plenty round here, so I'll grab a couple. I'm gonna check out if there's anything in the village. That's quite cool. The, uh, the tower has generated into the sandstone overhang, so it looks like the tower's holding it up. Hm. Well, there's nothing of note here. There is a cat somewhere. There. Now to go get some llamas. Are there any other colours? Cream. Yep, I'm gonna pinch these creams while I'm here. Yep, okay, have a scurry. But now that I've got them, it means I have to walk. Which is where this is going to get boring. Hi. I have no idea where I am. Completely the wrong way. I wonder if I cross wild llamas with the wandering trader llamas, do I get a possibility for them to not have the little jacket? Because I don't think you can take that little jacket off, which is why we're doing all of this, because all I'm getting is ones with the little trader jackets. But it would be nice to get all the colours as well. I think I'll only take two of each. I don't need to take a million through my nether bottle. Oh, they're following me because I've got a hay bale in my hand. You know what? I'm going to take those out of my hands because I think they're causing more trouble than they need to. I need to go to sleep as well. With an audience. Yep, hi. Yes, I think this is the right way. Please load in. Thank you. Are all the llamas just coming along? Because I've not got the thing in my hands anymore, so they're just... Are they just following the other llamas? Okay, I have fenced the two... I've gathered all four here, and uh, I shall go look for the browns because I think they were over on this hill. They were around here somewhere. Oh, we're taking we're taking the whole lot again. Yep, that's normal. That's fine. That's just how the savannah is, you know. And now I will go find the others. Here we are again. Now I'm just going to see where I am in relation to my nether portal, which way I need to go. Yep. Okay, so it was around here. This is where I was stood on the tree earlier, saying I couldn't find goats. Yeah, okay, I recognise this bit. Right, back we go. Oh, it's not that far, actually. Okay. And I just need to get two of each colour. Take the fence post again. And off we go. On we go. I take it the wolves aren't going to be a problem. I don't want to have to shoot wolves. I take it wolves won't hunt llamas. 
Oh no, the llamas are a problem to the wolves, aren't they? Yeah. Huh? This is a normal thing to do. That's fine. That's logical. That's perfect. Oh, <gasps> there is a white llama. Come hither. Are there no more? I see you've been having a feud with the wolves. Is it just you? I mean, one's better than none. Behold, a fifth member. Come on. Come on. Gotta go through. Gotta go through. I know they're struggling with the water, but I need the water here, otherwise they'll uh, just take full damage. Newt, can you go through, please? Yes, you can. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Brown one. Come on, over here. I think a couple of them got pushed back through again. Uh-oh, my llama is ascending. Come back, please. Come back, please. It should be all of them through. Unless they come back through again. It's all of them through onto the nether roof. That's the hardest bit done. That is the hardest bit done. Now we've just got to move them all back. And then I need to tower out over the water again like I did when I moved the camels. Which I'll go set up first, actually. See you in about ten minutes. Oh, the goat looks like he's struggling. And here it is, the very technical structure that allows me to perform the masterpiece move. The sploosh. Drop them in the water and then just swim them across there. Wouldn't be an issue. It wasn't with the camels. So fingers crossed, we don't have any trouble with llamas. I need to make sure I get them as close to this end as I can. And then jump. One's coming. Is the second coming? No, he's just looking terrified up there. Okay. Fasten you there for a moment. Go get this dude. Off you go. Come on. Thank you. Come on in. And be secure, please. Please be secure. Thank you. So there we are. Two llamas detained. Hopefully they will stay here and they can't get out. This is all five llamas in. Success. Let's see if we can get another white one. No? I thought you uh, used hair bales. Oh, is it because you're not tamed? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Now we'll go get that goat. Come on, goat. There we are. And my concern here is that he jumps. Come on. Load me in faster. Come on. Gotcha. I'm hoping if I can just pull him out, he doesn't jump. I push you off. I pushed the llamas off the second time because it works a lot better. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't think I can push a goat off, can I? I can. And there he is. Excellent. We have at least one goat. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Boing. And that should be a goat contained. Just gonna shut that trap though. I think that's that. I think I just need to go get another one. I think there might be some more in the village back here. Maybe. I'm sure I did check here before. Here's the snowy hills. And then beyond there should be some big snowy mountains. Here we go. Get some sheep. There's always a bee. Goats. Oh, they're just so close to home. Well, I needed to go the other way for llamas anyway. We'll take some goats. I'll take a couple with me. Yes, excellent. Cool, that's a screaming goat. Does it have a different face or anything, or does it just make different noises? I think it just makes different noises. Right then. Come on. Okay, cool. Cool. That's not going to get in the slightest bit annoying. We're just past this village here. I didn't realise you could actually see the dragon. That's the back of my head. I didn't realise you could see the dragon from the village. That's quite cool. Just catch the tail end, literally. It's very funny listening to this goat scream as we walk along. Exactly. Really? Okay. I think I'm going to go around here so I can go by the dragon and not get caught in any of the ravines. Oh, there is still a ravine here though, isn't there? Can I get on the dragon? Because that would make it easier. He didn't like that idea. All right, fine. We'll go around. Here we are, into the base. I should be able to just follow paths. Hopefully they won't get caught on our berry bushes. Yep, the idea alone was enough to drive him to madness. Nearly there. We're so close and he can stop screaming at me. Come on. Come on. Please let me shut the doors. Please. Okay, I just fed you something. I think I fed you hay, but it might have been a rocket. I'm not sure. It is quite despairing. Yes, come along. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Oh. Thank you. It is done. We have everybody. Can I get a baby?
May I see the bit? Oh, the baby. Tiny baby animal. Yep, hi. <laughs> I don't know why I opened both gates, but there we are. Now they should. They should stay in there. They should be contained. We should be safe. Can you tame llamas? Or do you just fill them full of wheat? I still want to try and get a white one, but they're not. No, he doesn't like that. Oh, do you have to sit on them like a horse? That makes sense. Just sit on a llama. Yeah, I can't open the menu yet. Okay. Okay, give me three weeks to tame all of these. This should now be everybody tamed, so please make a bebe. A little white one? No, I think that's a little cream one. Never mind. We'll get another white one one day. Now I need to tidy up that tower. All done. Good as new. But I think I will call it here for this episode. We've got a lot of new creatures. I don't really know if we'll ever need goats, but we've got them now. We may as well get them. Got the work done on the river that needed doing. Got some layout in the town done. And next week I think I'm just going to make a start on this. It's growing on me. I want to see it done. I might put the graveyard in and I might put the buildings around it. And then I can decide how it connects up to these town buildings. There's actually a gap here, isn't there, I could do to fill this in. So yeah, I think next week, do this bit, do these houses, maybe do this park. Just try and fill in some of this area. I'm quite excited now to uh, see how this comes out. And when we make a big bit of progress, we can come back and adjust the map. I won't do it for every little thing, that'll get a bit tedious, but uh, it'll be nice to see it build up. And this one doesn't even have the um, updated planning here, because it goes all the way to about there. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again next time. I hope you didn't have that reaction. That would be a bit much. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye for now.